Camila. Hello, brother. Hi, sister. How are you? Oh, I'm, I'm fine. I just have the flu and my throat is a bit worrying me. So just pardon yeah, me. First of all, with all respect, sister, with all respect, yeah. Yeah. are you Muslim, Alhamdulillah, Jesus, or Christian? I, I was Muslim. I have given my heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. And so man, hallelujah, yeah, man, hallelujah, hallelujah. God bless you. Go ahead, sister. Take your time. <laughs> hallelujah. I, I tell you, I tell you when I, um, okay, I've given my heart to the Lord for quite, oh my God, quite a, about, you're looking like 20 some odd years now. I've given my heart Amen. to the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, there's no, com I can tell from, there is no comparison. The Bible, the Quran is not the same, not the same. Yes, yes. Our 100%. God, Jesus. Jesus Christ, if the Muslim people really read, uh, if they really read the Bible and really put their hearts into reading, they just read for the sake of reading. They want to read yes. to... Uh, uh, for uh, good make, deeds, only reading for good deeds. Yes, only for that. And uh, I was there at once, brother. I was there at once. And yes. I can understand where they're coming from. But, you know, when I gave my heart to Jesus... Okay, let me share my testimony. Do you want to hear my testimony? Go ahead, sister. Okay. Take your time. Go Amen. ahead. I love to hear your testimony. Okay, my testimony is like this. I was Muslim, brought up in a Muslim home, went to Madrasa, did everything, read the Quran, did everything. But uh, I met a friend of mine. Uh, her name, uh, I was not married at the time. So I met this lovely lady. She was a Christian. And uh, she, we, we made friends, me and her. So eventually she should share to me about the gospel. I used to go visit her because we became friends. And I used to go visit her. And she told me about the goodness of the Lord Jesus Christ. And she told me about all about the Lord. So I didn't really, really was into what she was saying. Uh, I did get angry. I did get upset with her. Uh, I did say we also have God. We our Jesus Christ is not our God, he's our prophet, uh, Isa. We believe in Allah, and that was my word, and I stood firm on what I believed in, in the Quran, in the Bible, I mean, sorry, a, uh, Islam way. And um, so my friend, oh, she, still, she didn't stop sharing with me about the Bible. And I should see there's something very unique about her, something very different, something very special about her. But, you know, when you're in that re in Islamic religion, you're so bound to that religion. Your eyes are not open. Your heart is not open for truth. So uh, from now when I look back, I know where I was. So my eyes was not open. My heart was not open for truth. I always deny the truth. And my friend told me about the Lord. So uh, after I got married, I lost contact with my friend for about a few years. After I got married, I met my husband. We got married. Uh, 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 my husband is, is Muslim. At that time, I was also Muslim. We got married in Islam way. We did had a nikah, everything we did Islam way. And I married my husband. My husband was not well. He, he had asthma. My husband was asthmatic. So my husband used to get these asthma attacks and I used to, you know, help him to breathe again he should always say me you know what rub, bang the side of my back rub the, my side so can, I can breathe again and just help me you know it will help me like you know open my airwaves yes it did help him but this one specific night it was a Saturday night and my husband had the asthma attack and he fell to the floor and he's trying to grasp for breath and he's trying and me being a Muslim at the time I ran into the kitchen, I put a glass of water on the table, and I burnt incense, agrabati, as some people know that, and some know it as incense. I burnt the incense, I put a glass of water on the table, I put my down, I put my scarf over my head, I put ijar, my pants on, and I'm standing and I'm praying, and I'm crying out to Allah, please help my husband, Allah. Please help my husband and I was praying in Islam, praying, saying my duas and all, praying so much to him, but my husband is grasping for bread. And I said, <laughs> so sorry, my husband. 
<coughs> and my husband is still grasping for breath and for and then brother i tell you suddenly this word came into my mind and my like you know like god was speaking to me jesus was speaking to me this word came into my heart and mine a few years ago my friend told me anything you ask in the name of jesus in tr- in faith you ask god he will give it to you and you know she shared me a lot of things from the bible but this one word came to mind anything you ask in the name of jesus he will give it to you i'm telling you like a like a light bulb came on in my head like this word shot into my heart and i ran into the room in the bedroom where my husband was laying he's still on the floor i think it was a last but for him left to breathe and i went him down to his level i went down to the floor and said i told my husband you know my friend joyce told me about this about jesus and he said if he ask anything in his name he will give it to you he'll answer you and i said hey, let's cry out i didn't know much you know but this is i'm telling you like like i said it to my husband at that time i said anything you ask in his name he will give it to you he'll answer you and my husband cried out in that little bit of that voice he said jesus jesus and i said yes lord jesus help my husband and my husband said help me i could only hear my husband saying lord you the god you know in a faint voice he's saying lord you the god my friends my wife's friend told please help me i tell you brother not even five minutes two minutes is too long before god i tell you my husband shut up on his feet he started breathing I tell you, like he never ever had an asthma attack. When he used to have this asthma attack, God, I tell you, it should be so bad. It should be so bad. It should be so hard so to see him grasping every time for breath. But that night, God cleared him. God healed him. Instantly, he was healed from asthma. And we ran around the room and we were praising and we were thanking Jesus. And then. Thank you, Lord. <coughs> Jesus. Amen. And then after a little while, you know, we sat down, me and him, and he's telling me, you know what, I want to know this Jesus. I said, yeah. He said, not the Jesus in the Quran, not the Jesus that the Muslims told us. I want to know this Jesus, your friend Joyce told you about, the Jesus from the Bible. <coughs> I said, okay. I know that my friend always used to go to church. She meet her mom. Uh, go to her mom's place on a sun- Sunday afternoon. So I said, we can go there tomorrow afternoon. We'll definitely meet her there. I know we will. We went there. We shared with our testimony what the Lord did the previous night and what happened. And she was so excited. And they prayed with us. And they said they bring pastor home and they bring the elders home to come visit us. And ever since then, we gave our hearts to the Lord Jesus Christ. And we never turned back. We never turned back. But we had our families. We had our Muslim families. They were so angry. They were so frustrated. They chased us away. At one point, one of yeah, they yeah, they chased us away. One of my husband's aunties say, "Kill them! Kill them!" They left Islam. Kill them. And uh, and uh, my mother-in-law said, "Please just get out of here. Just go." My husband's mom said. We left the house and we said, Father, forgive them for they not know what they're doing. Help them not understand, you know. And then we continued serving God. But God is in, God is so good. He is so awesome that he reversed the situation. He reversed the situation. They used to come by us after a few years serving the Lord. They saw our lives. And the same people that chased us away asked, should ask us for prayer, you know. And uh, in my family, my dad was Muslim. My dad didn't want to know me. He said, I must go. He doesn't want to have anything to do with me. When I should go visit, my, he said, my mother chased this girl away. He called me girl. He shouldn't call me his child anymore. He shouldn't call me by my name. He should say, chase this girl away. I don't have nothing to do with this girl. And uh, eventually, dad and mom came to the Lord. The Lord healed my mom and my dad saw how the Lord healed my mom and what the Lord has done for my mom. And dad and mom came to the Lord. That was such a day of rejoicing. And um, then my brother came to the Lord. My sisters came to the Lord. 
And only I have one brother that I'm still praying for his salvation. And yes, am I? You will pray for him. Yes, yes. And I know any day now he's coming. Yes. And my mother in law, my mom in law, my husband's elder sister gave her heart to the Lord, Nasim. She gave her heart to the Lord. And in that function that my my sister had a Thanksgiving, my mother in law also said yes to Jesus. So we want to thank God for, like Joshua says, me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. And we trust in God that my entire household will be saved. So that's my testimony, brother, Amen. what the Lord has Hallelujah. done for me. Hallelujah. I'm so happy, so glad, so proud thank of you, you sister. Thank God you. bless you. you. I'm so happy for you because uh, yes. the gospel, the Bible said, yes. if one, one is, one is saved. Yes. One soul saved. There yes, is, is a, like a party in a heaven and in the earth. Oh, so I'm so you. happy with you uh, yes, for for you yes. because you are a saved now in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, yes, and Hallelujah. your family, and we are pray for your brother to see the yes. light of the truth. Yes, yes. to yes. see Amen. the light at that light he is Jesus Amen. Christ in the name Amen. of Jesus. God is so Amen. good. Thank you so much, my brother, for allowing me this platform to share my testimony. I pray in the name of Jesus that you touch somebody's heart and uh, that uh, I pray for those that are, you know, the, uh, say, the Muslims say circumcised, circumcision. But you know what? In the New Testament, Christ came and made a new covenant with us. The and the only thing you be circumcised. The, yes, that's what I was the getting there. Not the body. I was getting there. So Jesus circumcised our heart. He replaced our heart with the heart of flesh. He moved that heart of stone, brother, and he replaced with the heart of flesh. And I pray for each and every Muslim that God will replace the heart of stone with the heart of flesh, that they will know the true and the living God, that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. You cannot get to the Father only through him. And God has been so faithful in our lives, and he has been so wonderful in my life. I, I, I will never, I'll never turn my back on him. He is so wonderful. He's so awesome serving how you. And amazing, thank you, brother. How amazing, God, sister. How amazing yes. our God. Look, a yes. three ex-Muslim now in this life, Sister Rose and you and me, a three ex-Muslim now yeah. we're sharing, however, the God, the good things doing with us in our life <laughs> yes, hallelujah yes, yes. hallelujah hallelujah and oh, sister there desire also she is ex-muslim however guys anyone ex-muslim write it down i'm ex-muslim to see how many ex-muslim in this live stream i mean sister uh, uh, uh <laughs> Famita, god bless you yes. i'm so happy <laughs> for you i'm so happy for you too brother the, the i pray for your life I pray the anointing will always be on your life and I pray for fire from heaven to come upon your life right now in the name of Jesus. Brother, your eyes to be always on the Lord and what you are doing is you're making the heart of the, the Father's heart glad. So continue to what you're doing, my brother, and you also and your family in my prayers as well. Bless you, my brother. Sister, God bless, bless you, and I appreciate it. Thank you for coming and sharing your such a beautiful testimony. You're welcome. God Anytime. bless you, sister. Anytime. Yes, I'm following you. If you want, you can give I mean, a follow back. <laughs> yes, I will. I will, for sure. There you, you go. I just followed you. Thank you. Thank you. Bless you. God Have bless a good you, day. Thank in Jesus God name. bless you, sister. God bless, bless you, too, you my brother. Coming. Bless you, too. Thank you. Amen. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Sister Rose. God bless uh, you, sister. God bless you, brother Ahmed. How are you? Alhamdulillah, Jesus. I'm, I'm so, so happy. Amen. So happy Amen. for you, for sister, for every ex-Muslim left the devil and guarantee the heaven with Almighty God, Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah Amen, to sister. your living words. Um, I'm so uh, grateful that you're allowing me um, this space to share my testimony. Um, Amen. But I, I do... Uh, I do know part of your testimony and yours is extremely powerful, and so we praise the Lord Jesus Christ for for saving us. Um, and as His Word says, He transferred us from the world of darkness into His marvelous light. Go ahead, sister. If you want to share okay. your testimony, yeah, sure. go ahead. I would love to. Yes, yes. Um, so I'm going to. Of course, I'm going to try to keep it brief because there's just so much, um, but I'm just going to share the highlights. Excuse my cat in the background. So um, 
When I was, uh, even before I went to school, you know, I'm Kurdish from the northern Iraqi region. And I grew up in a Muslim, Sunni, Kurdish household. And um, ever since, even before I went to elementary school, for some reason, I had this question in my head, who is the true God? Because I remember them discussing, you know, the three different religions, Judaism, Christianity, Islam, and other ones before them. But every time I would ask that question, they would tell me it's a sin for me to question and um, I should not sin in Islam and I should be just grateful because I'm so blessed I'm born into the best religion in the world. Um, and so anyway, I went to school, you know, elementary school, middle school there, and um, we learned we learned about the Quran and the Hadith and those things, and they made us memorize them. So I was very, very knowledgeable, but I never ever felt any kind of real presence of God in there. Um, so anyways, uh, my family and I moved here when I was about 14 years old, and when I was 17, I experienced some kind of difficulty in my life and naturally I went to the Muslim holy book that I had that I belonged to naturally I went to the Quran and I had read it in Arabic fully back home um, and so this time again I opened it and I reread most of it but this time it's like the Lord opened my eyes and I saw all the you know all the controversies I saw all the violence in there and I saw and I just thought to myself at that age I said this cannot be from the true God and I knew in my heart this book is dead I said this book is dead it's dark and believe me this did not make me happy because at that point I thought everything until this point in my life has been a lie and so that basically took me into a period of depression at that time um, because I knew Islam is not true but I didn't know you know who God is so I became an atheist for a short while. And then after that, uh, when I went to college in my free time, I was just reading on different religions. I was reading on Hinduism, on Buddhism, on New Age spirituality. I'm not sure you know about New Age spirituality, but it's basically a combination of beliefs um, that this age has gathered and they have taken different beliefs from different religions and one of the you know some of the beliefs are that there is no sin that there is no hell you know i used to believe in reincarnation that this life is just learning lessons and we're going to reincarnate until we perfect the lessons things like that those were really my beliefs and so every time i would read these books they would give me some kind of comfort but it would never last so anyways, fast forward some years after, I started watching the Trinity Broadcasting Network, which is a Christian TV network, and I was drawn to uh, listening to sermons, um, specifically by Pastor Joel Osteen. Uh, he's an American pastor, and, um, and I just couldn't stop listening to him. There was something in his eyes, there was this light in him when he talked about God, when he talked about Jesus, that I wanted. But any any time at the end of the sermon, he would say, let's pray the salvation prayer. I never would do that. I didn't want to do that. So, you know, a few years, a couple of years after that, you know, I was still watching the TBN network and I was still watching sermons by Joel Osteen just for comfort. I had not become a Christian yet. But um, there was this time in my life again that I was going through spiritual darkness and also some really difficult circumstances in many ways. So one night I, I told Jesus, I didn't know he's God at this point. I just thought, you know, he's the prophet, maybe he's a good person. Um, so I said, if you are who, the, who these Christian people say you are, then please save me because I'm spiritually dead. I am physically, mentally, and emotionally, I feel like I'm dying. Um, I don't know who God is. I need you to save me. And so the next day I woke up and, um, and there was something different in my heart. Like my heart was beating differently. There was this love, this tangible love that I had never known in my entire life. Amen. Not, amen. amen. Not, not from reading philosophy books, not from reading books on other religions. This love was just so powerful. I had never, I, I didn't know it before. So a few days after that, I went to... Catholic Mass. Um, I was baptized in the Catholic Church. So I went to Mass a few days after I had said the salvation prayer. I had asked the Lord to save me. And I vividly remember that Sunday I was crying in Mass because 
I felt the presence of the Lord and I I knew he is God and his presence was so tangible to me and I supernaturally understood the work of the cross I supernaturally understood what it meant that he went to the cross and that he died for me and he shed his blood and I also knew he's alive and he is God and these concepts these realities now I know these things are real I didn't understand them before I became a Christian. I wouldn't call the Christians liars before I became a Christian. I just didn't understand them. But when I went to Mass after I said the salvation prayer, I understood these things. And I felt, I literally felt the Lord Jesus Christ right there in Mass. He was there. Um, so anyways, um, and then I would just read scripture here and there. The other miracle that started happening was scripture started to come alive in my heart. The Bible has this power this this life in it you know jesus says in john 6 my my words are spirit and life and i had not read this verse before but this is exactly what i was experiencing every time i would for the first time ever he would speak to me personally through scripture and i've never experienced this you know i never experienced the humble god this is god this is the creator of the universe and he's so humble and he's so loving he's taking an interest in me as a person in me a sinner and then the other one of the other miracles that started happening that i never had before when i was a muslim when i was into new age spirituality when i was researching I never had it and this was the conviction of sin in my heart. I started having a conviction of sin and this was not in a malicious way. This was in the most loving way possible. This was this person, this God who loves me and he's pouring out this heart, this love into my heart, but he's telling me, you know, about my sins and he's leading me into repentance. And it was just bringing me tears and my journey continued on. Um, and then I started going to some, a few years after that. Well, he actually did a healing for me in between that. He healed me from something. And my mother was an agnostic. She, even though she was born into Islam, she never believed in much. So, um, but when she saw that he healed me miraculously, she also became a Christian. And amen, amen. And then a um, couple of years after that, I started going to uh, my friend's Bible study uh, sessions at his house. And uh, during those Bible, stu Bible study sessions, I started again, I started feeling his tangible holy presence. He was like sitting among us. This, this was really like a miraculous experience. So then I asked him from my heart, I said, Lord, I want to meet you. And, and I keep a prayer journal and I wrote it in my prayer journal. I said, I desire to meet you, but I'm afraid to meet you in real life. I know you have revealed yourself to many people in real life, but I'm scared of that. So Lord, I ask that you come to my dream. I want to meet you. And I forgot about that. You know, I was just busy with my career. I went on. And so a few months after that, I actually, he visited me in the dream. He answered my prayer and he looked nothing like any picture, painting, depiction I had ever seen. He looked nothing like any of those things. But let me tell you, it was just me and him in a field and we were maybe about 300 feet apart. And um, he was wearing a white gown. He was covered with a red rope. He had, he looked 100% Jewish. He, he had dark olive skin, he had dark eyes, and he had dark curly hair. And, um, and he looked at me, it was just me and him, and he talked to me, just by looking at me, he talked to me from thought to thought. And at that point in my life, I had not read the entire Bible. But he spoke to me, the first thing he said to me was, Be still and know I am God. In other words, he was telling me that no, not to be afraid. But at that point, I didn't know this is Psalm 4610. You know, right? I woke up and some weeks after that, I came across Psalm 4610 and I said, wow, this is what he told me. Um, another thing he told me was, and again, I had not read this Bible verse before. He told me that before he conceived me in my mom's womb, he knew me. This was very clear. That's what he told me. And, I, and at that point, I didn't know this is Jeremiah 1 and verse 5. I didn't know that. Um, and then he also told me that when I encounter difficulties in my life, to look at him and not to look at the difficulties. 
and it was extremely, extremely vivid and clear. I know it was more than a dream because normal dreams fade away. But this vision in a dream, it was so real. It was more real than this reality now. And um, I'm not an artist. So I would try to draw what he looked like, but he, he did not look like any picture I'd ever seen. And so, you know, then some months after that, again, I made a prayer request. I wrote in my prayer journal. I thanked him. I said, Lord, I thank you that you answered my prayer. But Lord, I ask that I see you again, but I want to see you closer this time. And once again, I forgot I had written that prayer down in my prayer journal and a month passed by and I had another visitation. He answered me basically again. And I have a small um, Last Supper painting in my apartment. And so in my dream, my entire place was dark, was pitch dark, and he was the only light. He was standing inside the Last Supper painting. He wasn't sitting, he was standing. And um, he was radiating light. He was covered in a robe that was radiating light is how I can describe it. And he, his head was covered with a veil. It was white and it was also radiating light. This light that he was radiating had dimension to it. This light, he was radiating holiness and, um, and peace and his love and his perfect sinlessness. And I was so afraid to be in his presence because I knew I am such a big sinner. And I ran into the other room in this vision in the dream. And then I regretted it. I said to myself, I said, I requested to see him and he's answered me and I can't believe I ran away. But I wonder if I go back and he's still there. And I went back and he was still there. He was doing nothing. He was just standing in splendor, in, in majesty. And, you know, he was radiating this light that I've never seen in this world. This, this light was not like the light of the sun. This light was not like neon lights. It was, it was light that was, like I, like I said, the best way I can articulate it was this light that was radiating holiness. And before knowing the Lord Jesus Christ, I knew what holiness meant intellectually, but I never felt it. I never, I had never encountered somebody who is, perfectly sinless and perfectly holy. And so the next day I woke up and I, I wrote down exactly what I saw. And a couple of months passed and I came across Psalm 104 and verse 2. And it says, he is covered in a robe of light. And I just couldn't stop crying because I looked at what I had written before I ever read Psalm 104.2. And it was exactly what this verse is saying. It matched my description of what I saw. So in his goodness, in his mercy, he is God. He is the only true God there is. He was giving me confirmation that indeed it was himself that that I saw. And he's also saying he is God. You know, like I'm like I tell whoever I tell my testimony to, whenever you're in the presence of, of the Lord Jesus Christ, every cell in your body testifies that this is God that he is holy and then he's just been amen amen hallelujah i receive it wow praise god i can feel it the spirit of god hallelujah wow man god bless you wow amen. wow it's amazing praise god praise yes, the lord yes, Jesus Christ. Yes, god bless you um, and so these are the two times that i saw him i've had other encounters with him um but again the the journey has been about sanctification and i'm still a sinner but he still you know corrects me in a loving way and he still shows his love and um when i go when i dedicate time into prayer and reading the word i feel his most holy presence um, still, and it's a very distinct, tangible presence. And so there's no doubt in my heart that this is the only true God there is, that he is the fulfillment of all scripture. And he, by the way, he's actually healed me of other things, you know, other simpler things. Um, so he didn't just heal me once, but a few times. Um, and he's done other miracles, but I'm just sharing, you know, the visitations with you and I'm, I'm sharing and I'm witnessing to you that I'm a simple person. These miracles that I'm talking about, I have nothing to do with them. I am just telling you about the God of glory. I'm telling you that all of these for his glory, that whoever hears it and if they're having any doubts in their hearts, 
please go and ask him he will answer you he says in scripture ask and it will be given to you he says ask and i will answer you in the book of jeremiah and so um this is basically the summary of my testimony and um, i give all praise and all glory to the king of kings and the only true god there is amen 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 what the amazing amen. service hallelujah uh, what amazing uh, man testimony yeah. Praise so God. powerful, so powerful. Praise I'm God. so happy for you, sister. God bless you. At least, at least, small thing, I just want to add it. At Thank least, you. sister, you yes. are now, according the Bible, according Christ, uh, uh, absolutely, you are a safe. You are uh, now daughter of God. You now, not anymore, like in Islam, animal. In Islam... Amen. In Islam, look this book in Islamic library, sister. Amen. At least the the God didn't call the woman animal. At least look here. Wow. So wow. he talking about the eight animals menstruation, menstruated. So in part two, page two sixty nine, look what he said. Does he said the scholars here? The scholars mentioned that there are eight animals that menstruate the woman first animal <laughs> the hyena 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 second animal the bat third animal the rabbit the dog <laughs> camel gecko yeah. so at least now god bless you sister i'm so happy for you at least in a christianity you are daughter of god Amen. Amen. You are equal with the man. No one better than the other. Equal Amen. sin. Amen. Amen. But in Islam, ya haram. In haram. Islam, ya haram. Ya the haram. woman, like animal. Ex Imagine not with animal. me. Not, exactly. Well, actually, in my view, animals are way better than Allah and Muhammad. 100 times better. Because animals <laughs> are so pure and innocent. And yes. th those those demons are not, and and you know. Other, amen, amen, amen. The other things, you know, I have learned in my journey with the Lord Jesus Christ is that Islam. Before I became a Christian, I didn't know, but it is a satanic religion. I mean, I understand you guys talk about the satanic verses. Of course, I believe those, but I knew it. I knew it because Jesus Christ is the only true God, and this these other false religions. They, they they worship Satan. Allah to me is a, either a demonic principality or it's Satan himself. That's just what it is. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, sister. God bless you. God bless I'm so you. happy. I'm so proud to her. Your testimony is so powerful. And, you know, uh, imagine. So our God, he is alive. He is exist. Not like Allah who snake Allah snake bar sister, when I was Muslim, 33 years, always asking him, pray for him. Ya Allah, help me, ya Allah. He's not here. Nope. He's a fake idea Muhammad created according mm -hmm. Quran to Dingi Dingi. For only Dingi Dingi. 100%. Muhammad created this Allah. 100%. He didn't hurt. He's not here. We yeah. talking, talking, he didn't hurt. We pray, we ask. He, he, he's not here. But yeah. Jesus Christ, same, almost, 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 sister, same your testimony. God bless Before you. I believe in his name, I just went, start to believe, start to understand, start to follow, to see whatever the Christian, uh, you know, worshiping. He, call, he, he called me. He spoke with me. Before the, those people, I don't want to name it, those uh, uh, the black flag you know him in, uh, in syria and iraq the uh -huh, black yes. flag yes, yes 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 before those because those are planning to kill me because heard i'm going to the church before i went to any place i heard his voice he said don't scared i am with you Amen. after that i know this is verse in the gospel in the Bible. Wow, wow, don't be afraid. He says, don't be afraid. Yes. Exactly, in so many areas. Uh, Isaiah 41. Don't scare, Heaven. I am with you. I'm with you. Don't I be afraid. I confused it at that time. For that, when you say, when you're talking, uh, when you uh, uh, saying your testimony, I memorize what's happening with me at that time. 
at that time I am lonely and like a guardian, like a guardian, I'm lonely. And uh, we living in one room there at that time in a mountain, almost mountain. And I have a, a motorcycle, uh, what we call in uh, bike. Scooter, scooter. Scooter, I have a small scooter to went to the job. Before I turn it on, oh, she get hit. Wow, they, they reported on sister. Let's see. Oh, they have sister, no guests. Just, just appeal it, sister. S send an appeal and uh, they'll reactivate your account. Oh, man, the, the Muslim, you see? You see? the handicapped worshiper never, never, you know, they do hard to, to her. Yes, they report on her. Too hard to listening to the truth. Too hard. What? The 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 truth is heard. The truth. Oh my heard. God! They report her now. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Handicap worshiper. Now let's go back. I'm so happy for the testimony it's today. So to, evil, to demonic, beautiful evil. testimony. Too beautiful testimony. Wow. So now we will come back, brother Habibi Christian, uh, okay. and we will ask Christian House. We went ask the brothers and sisters in the humanity, handicapped worshippers, if Allah like to have a son, why he has only one son? Why? Oh, that if he like to have a son, he's supposed to be have a two, three, four, five sons playing together, you know, grow up together, right? Why he has only one son? I don't know. It doesn't make yeah. sense, bro. It doesn't make any Allah. sense, bro. Right? Yeah. If any Muslim, he has an answer, please. Please. Come on. Tell me. Why Allah used to be have only one son? Astaghfirullah. <laughs> 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 Christian House, do you see this uh, interpretation yesterday or not? No. no. Uh, Rahna Samrak. Let me show you this interpretation. You will shock now. Inshallah, Jesus. You will shock. Inshallah, Jesus. Shock now. No, 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 no. Ya haram. Ya haram, this interpretation. If you see it, you will shock. You said, man, what's it dirty? This religion. Yeah. It is very dirty, my brother. Yes, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, bro. The Holy Spirit exposes everything. I was wondering about Rose. How did they block her? They report her. They're so evil. Wow. They didn't hold the truth. Truth is, wow. is, is, is uh, hurt, bro. Truth. Did you open your account, brother? The other one, the one, yeah. the video they deleted. You didn't recover Which it. Account. The the one they deleted yesterday. They blocked yesterday. The. Yeah, I just uh, appealed. I just appealed. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> <clears throat> I will show you now one hadith Please. and give me your opinion, okay? Okay. <laughs> Let's start from the beginning. Chapter 3, brother, Surat Al-Amran, verse number 47, okay? Chapter 3, Al-Amran, 47. If we go to Tafsir Al-Baghawi, Mm -hmm. See, Tafsir al Qurtubi, sorry, Tafsir al Qurtubi. Okay? okay, we go to the Hadith Ibn Juraj now. <clears throat> Ibn Juraj said, Ibn Abbas said, Jibril took hold of her shirt with his finger. What? Finger? Yes, Jibril took 
Maryam bintu Amran hold of her shirt with his finger mm-hmm. and the blue on it blue wear and from then on she become pregnant let's go down st- uh, down a little bit we see how and why he used his finger with her why he used his finger with her for which reason look here what he said for which reason because as long as a woman does not what is this desire her, her desire stimulate stimulate her desire which means make her horny with his finger wow, wow. Yeah. make her horny with his finger why because she does not become pregnant if she not be horny smash allah smash allah <laughs> smash allah right <laughs> wow okay now i want you i want you to go back i want you to go back i, I want to see the tafsir al-urtubi fil hadith fil quran Tafsir al Qurtubi? Yeah. Chapter 3, verse 47. Smash Allah. Chapter 3, verse 47. I want to take a snapshot. Snapshot. Wait, wait. Uh, Surah Al Imran. Okay. So now we go to where also? Uh huh. Chapter 19, verse. Oh, Holy Spirit. 17 and we go to where prophet imam al baghawi peace be upon him mm. now read with me akrima what he said akrima said she mary 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 uh, the mother of isa in quran used to be in the mosque and when she ministered she turned it to her aunt's house until when she became horrified she returned it to the mosque then well she was taking bath when she was taking bath from menstruation she was tripped as Gabriel appeared to her in the form of young man. Wow. So when she is in a bathroom, take a shower, Gabriel came to her, appeared to her as a young man who was dark, which means he's from Africa, and <laughs> redent with a fair face, curly hair. What? Wow. Wow. So here, the hadith before that, we read, Jibreel, he used his finger, he hold on her shirt, and make her horny. Where? When she was taking bath. Now imagine with me, brother. Young man oh. with the curly yeah. hair came to the woman in a bathroom. He's a perfect man. <laughs> he came Obama. to the woman in a yeah. bathroom. Yeah. And he told her, I came to give you pure son. And use his finger to make her horny. So I is a son of who? I is a son of who? Son of Jibreel? Who is a Jibreel? Uh, Allah Spirit. Allah Spirit is not Allah. It's Allah. Which means Isa, son of who? Son of Allah. Yeah. If we go together now to chapter 66, for I prove it for you, Allah appeared to her. And son of Allah. Come. Wow. Chapter wow. 66.
verse 12. Now imagine with me. And Mary, and Mary, the daughter of Amran, who crowded her chastity, which means covered her vagina. So we breathe it into it of our spirit. So Allah breathed where? Where? In her chastity. Oh. He breathed into it, which means Allah came down from seven heaven to the bathroom when Maryam bed to Amran take a bath, came, yeah. use his finger, make her horny, open her leg <laughs> in her vagina. Do you want me to prove it? Allah has that young man with curly hair came to the Maryam in a bath? Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> wow. So I prove it for you. Who came to the Maryam in a bathroom? Young man, right? Oh, African young man. African young man with curly hair, right? Yeah. With curly hair. <laughs> Come to see the greatest scholar in Salafi answering the heretic to prove it Allah appeared to the Muhammad as a young man. The book of statement dressing the Jahmiya heretic in establishing their verbal heresy. See? Heresy. From who? Ibn Taymiyyah. Greatest scholar. Ibn Taymiyyah is a Kurdish, huh? No problem. Part 7, page 290. Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas. Did Muhammad see his Lord? He said, yes. He said, how did he see him? He said, in the form of young man. Young man without, without? A veil, pearls, a veil pearls of pearls, as if his feet were covered in greenery. That's that your is your light, yeah. which is his, his, his light. light. If he manifests himself so, with his light, nothing preserves him. Yeah. And this indictus. And take the days yeah. that, that he saw him and told that he saw him in the form of young man without covering and his feet in a granary wow. and that that this vision is the opposition to the verse. And the answer to it is what has pre, uh, presided, so it is necessitates that it is an eye vision. See, Muhammad see his Allah in his eye as in the authentic hadith attributed to Qutada, Qatada, on the authority of Ikrima, on the authority of Ibn Abbas, Omar sent to Abdullah Ibn Abbas asking him if Muhammad saw his Lord. So he sent Abdullah Ibn Abbas to him, meaning yes, and he answered him. So which means this young man appeared to the Maryam in a bathroom, make her horny, use his finger, and lay down underneath her. Come to show you. He lay down underneath her. Come on. Chapter 19. He lay down underneath her? Yes. Because he will continue make her pregnant, man. Come on, bro. Chapter 19, verse 24. 
سماش الله سماش الله سماش الله ريد ذا براذر سماش الله ريد سو هي كول تو هير فروم بنيز بنيز هير وات دونت غريف مي فور يور لورد هاز بليسد A secret place under you. Uh oh! <laughs> Smash Allah! Allah is young man. Christ! Wow! Came to the Maryam bin to Amran. That's so shit. As a young man, in a bathroom, use his finger, hold wow. hold on her shirt, which means he helped her to take off her clothes. Right? He helped her, yeah. and he make her horny. And after that, he lay down underneath her. Right? So shameful. So Isa, Prophet Isa, peace, peace be underneath her mother, his mother. Isa, Prophet Isa, peace be underneath his mother. Because Jibreel, Allah, underneath his mother, right? Mm -hmm. Isa, peace be underneath his mother. Son of who? Son of Allah. Son of Allah. Wow. Because who's spoken here? Allah. He said, we send to her our spirit. And chapter 66, he came down to her. And Muhammad said, Allah is a young man. Wow. So who's the father of Isa? Allah is Nikbar. Allah is Akbar. So Isa is son of Allah. Right? Wow. Now I get to my question. If Allah Snakebar loves to have a kid, why he have only one son? Why doesn't have a two, three, four, five sons? At least he has a three daughters in Quran. He has already three daughters. But why he has only one son? He has three daughters, Allah, Al Uzza, and Manat. Those, like Quraysh said that. Let me let me let me bring this verse. Quraysh approve it. Those Allah daughters, three daughters. So which means Allah has a three daughters. Allah has a three daughters while one son. Why? Why he has a only one son? Why doesn't have two, three, four, five sons? He can't. He has no power. He need the help. He has no power. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> needed a tablet, blue tablet, <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh my God! Today you are killing me. You got a new one. That's very new for me, brother. Man, we want to know why? Why? Because always handicap or super brother in humanity talking yeah. about. Uh, why your God only have a son? Why only have a one son? Why you only have a one son? But we don't believe biology son. We never believe that. Like the idea born in a, in a mind, right? Same thing. Word of God appeared in a flash. We said he's son of God, like idea born in the mind. We never believe his biology son, biology son, right? But yeah. in Islam, he has a biology son. I just approve it for you from Quran interpretation. Right? So he tried to cover it his problem to attack gospel, to attack yeah. Christianity. Yep. For he covered it his problem, he attacking the, the Christianity. Why? Because we have no one least knowing Arabic language in a Christian side least knowing what's happening in Islamic book, in Quran, in interpretation, right? For that, the handicap worshippers always attacking the Trinity, right? Yeah. But the Trinity in Quran, three different gods. I proved it early to the ex-Catholic liar. Bro, 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 Christian house, please, I wanna ask you. You are a Christian, right? <clears throat> You are a Christian, right? Do you read Jason Gospel or not? For I prove it for him. Because he said 
He is ex-Catholic, and he didn't read the Jason Gospel. See? Astaghfirullah line. Astaghfirullah line. He is ex-Catholic, and he didn't read the uh, Jason Gospel. Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. Even he didn't memorize it, the Lord's prayers. He tried to Google it, but he has no chance. He can't memorize it, read it from Google. <laughs> Salam wa muta, all brother and sister. If anyone have an answer, you are very welcome. Tell me why your Allah has only one son. He has no more power. He needs Viagra, for example. We can help him. <laughs> right? But he doesn't have a wife. He, um, you know, plus 18 guys, plus 18. Allah, he do dingy dingy with himself. Like is shaitan in Quran. He doesn't have a wife. He is uh, one side male, one side female. And dingy dingy himself. <laughs> Which means according uh, interpretation, shaitan, he has in right uh, leg, in right leg, he has a male organ. And left leg, he has a vagina and he inserted this in this and he laid every day 10 eggs. Allah? Right? So, Shaitan, Shaitan, mm -hmm. Shaitan, he doesn't have a wife. He do dingy dingy with himself. Why? Because he doesn't have a wife and he not been born and not give a birth. Not been born and not give a birth. And Allah in chapter 112, not been born and not give a birth. But he has a son and has a three daughters, which means he laid eggs, right? He laid eggs like shaitan. He do dingy dingy with himself and laid eggs. Smash Allah, smash Allah. <laughs> 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 smash Allah, brother. Smash Allah. Yeah, yeah, brother. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Sister, God bless you. How are you doing, sister? Oh, I'm good. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to request. I'm Christian, so. I know, I know, sister. God bless okay, you. You okay. are ex Muslim, too. I know. <laughs> Thank you God bless, so God bless. much God bless for what you, you do, sister. though. I'm so happy for you. You are very welcome anytime. Sister. Beautiful, beautiful testimonies tonight. Absolutely gorgeous. So, mm -hmm. praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you, sister. You yes, too. so, <clears throat> Annie. Mr. Allah Snake Bar Worshipper here. You want to defend <laughs> and answer my question? This is no, my no. right, right? This is my right. To Allah Snake Bar. <laughs> Confess. Nobody can defend Allah. I feel so bad for Allah. Astaghfirullah, brother. Nobody, nobody. nobody trusts him. Yeah. I don't, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, nobody trusts him. Nobody can want to defend for him. If you see any Sheikh game, he will yeah. directly running to the Bible. <laughs> From the beginning. Why your God? Why you have your never directly? Like yesterday. <laughs> yeah, that's Why? what they do. They're scaring from the question. That's what they do. Yeah. Scared. Yeah. How can he answer, man? Put yourself uh, uh, in that side. Imagine yourself you are a Muslim and you are in this live stream. How can you answer? It's a hard question, bro. It's really hard. Seriously hard. We just approve it from Quran and Tafsir. Only Quran and Tafsir, bro. It's hard to answer. He can do nothing with it. He has three choices. Curse, insulting, reporting, or left Islam. He yep. has no choices. Yep. For that scaring to join guests. I never see any handicap worshiper answering the question directly without running, without planning, without jumping. You never see any handicap worshiper. Come on, lion, look this lion. In comment, disrespect the sister. In comment. But we will see now he will respect himself, answer the question, or disrespect again. Lion, salam on muta, brother. <laughs> don't say salam, don't this don't say bad because I say to you bad thing. 
Talk I nice to peace. people. I said peace and enjoying. Don't lie. Muta, what's the muta mean in English? What's the muta mean in English? Lion. Don't say, don't say Lion. bad. And don't say my. What the muta mean in English? You can you brother. translate? Let me show you. I'm not because saying you, you can, are my you brother. Can, I, said, my brother. I said you know my that. brother. Come down. You can be my brother. Said, you can. I'm, no, no, I'm not saying you are a pagan. I said my, my brother. My father, Do you know what the brother listen. meaning? Do you know what the brother, brother meaning? My, my father didn't fuck, listen, fuck your mother. They born you Sadam like me. Allah. When you scratch, <clears throat> um, iron with the iron, there's some small thing coming out from iron. That we called in Arabic a brother. I'm not saying a brother. I'm saying a brother. Brother. Do you know the brother? When you scratch iron with the iron, something from this crushing coming out that name is a brother i'm not calling you my brother you are a pagan how can you become my brother you are a pagan handicap worshiper i never call you my brother i'm saying brother brother learn arabic brother so after you curse my mother thank you for coming my mother she is your sister in islam and your allah said <laughs> In Surah Al-Talaq, or uh, I think uh, Surah Al-Nur, Surah Al-Nur, he said, وَالَّذِينَ يَرْمُونَ الْمُحْصَنَاتِ ثُمَّ لَمْ يَأْتُوا بِأَرْبَعَةِ شُهَدَاء فَاجْرِدُوهُمْ ثَمَانِينَ جَلْدًا وَلَا تَقْبَلُوا لَهُمْ شَهَادًا أَبَدًا أُولَئِكَ هُمْ الْفَاسِقُونَ Which means, if anyone said, any female or male, commit adultery, and he didn't bring four witnesses, punish him, 80 lashes, and his testimony not accepted anymore, and he's a loser, which means, according to your Allah in Quran, because you curse my mother, you curse my mother, and my mother, she's a Muslim, and you don't have four witnesses, which means, according to your Allah, you are a kafir, loser, going to hellfire, you are a liar always. Your testimony never accepted anymore. And we have to punch you, AD Lashes. Thank you, and God bless you. Let's see. Wow. Yes. Let me it's bring hard. this verse for you, sister. Uh, for I example, I made... Every day. Yeah, I made one topic before, uh, a couple days ago, and I said, the sister, the sister, Muslim, she can have boyfriend beside her husband. She can have it boyfriend. Why? Because if the husband came to the house and found his wife naked beside her boyfriend on husband bad, he can do nothing. He can't do nothing. If he said, if he saw private part in a private part, he can do nothing. Yeah. Why? Because Allah said he has to bring four witnesses. The camera doesn't work. What? Camera doesn't work. <laughs> Should yeah. be four witnesses. Disgusting religion. Absolutely. And other, 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 other point. Other point. Muhammad, he said, not allow eligible to any man came back from traveling. For example, if he traveling outside the town, is not allowed to come back directly to his house during night time. He has to wait till next day, afternoon, and send message to his wife. Habibi, I'm coming. I am here. If you have boyfriend, <laughs> let him go. I will come. And Muhammad companion. I will show you all the hadith. Oh, well, now, I don't know. He, allow I don't her, know he, allow her, he can allow her yes. to have a And Muhammad companion, greatest companion, his name Sa'ad ibn Ubadah. He came to the Muhammad and he said, Oh Prophet, if I saw some man with my wife on my bed, should I wait till I bring four witnesses? He said, Yes. Yes. Let me show you. In wajattu ma imra'ati rajulan, a'umhilahu hatta ati bi arba'ati shuhada? He said, Yes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Ama amazing religion. Wow. Amazing. Oh I like it. Like Maybe in the future I can have a girlfriend uh, 
حرام 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 يا حرام يا احمد شو حرام تحرم عليه عيشته لا سلام What I want to know is if dingy dingies allowed in heaven apparently yes, you know, men, men get everything men get everything like what do the women get do we not get anything nothing the woman sister I said in 2016 on Facebook I said the woman I made this topic also and I used to be debating uh, Arabic language with Sheikh I told him the woman in Islam only for the bath and kitchen that's it yeah bad it's a religion kitchen. of the flesh absolutely of pure yes. flesh let me show you this now the time to prove for the sister and the brother in Islam didn't say I'm lying right this is Sahih Muslim authentic book 1498b Abu Huraira narrated Peace be behind him. Reported that Saad bin Ubadah, <laughs> B, which means bin Ubadah, peace be behind him, said, Messenger of Allah's, if I were to find with my wife a man, with my wife a man, should I wait until I bring four witnesses? What he said? Prophet? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, Habibi. Yes. No problem. Yes. Let him finish. For example, for example, <laughs> if he entered to yes. his house and he see the man with his wife on his bed naked, what is he supposed to be doing? He's supposed to be told him to the man, Habibi, do you want anything from market? Do you need sandwich, <laughs> hamburger, uh, shower, ma, shish kebab? What do you want? Please continue, Habibi. Continue. Continue. She's enjoying. I'm going. I will come back. And he will go to outside. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Went wow. outside and catch his phone and call me. Prophet Ahmed, I need you, please. I need you. I will tell him, okay, come. And he will call Jason. Prophet, Prophet Jason, please. I need you. I need you to some man. Make it beside the wife. Can you come, please? I need four witnesses. <laughs> And he called Brother Kingdom and the Christian house, and we will came. If we came, imagine the scholars uh, uh, explain it. If we came to help him, and uh, <clears throat> let me show you this. If this guy finished dingy dingy with this guy, this is not adultery. Why? Because the four witnesses didn't see him together inserting private part inside the private part. Unbelievable. Which means it's not commit adultery. But the problem still not here. Still the problem yes. not here. I have no issues from this. The problem still not here. The problem is now. If the, if the wife become pregnant, if the wife become pregnant from the boyfriend, the prophet, peace be underneath him, he answered it. He has the answer to every question. If she become uh, pregnant, the child, son of honor the bed. What? The what? child, son of husband. <laughs> Let me prove it from authentic hadith. The, son, uh, the child, son of who? Husband, which means husband without doing anything. Yeah. He gets and now the gift. he has that responsibility on top gift. of having the... With no job. <laughs> Masha, smash Allah, smash Allah. Smash Allah. Smash Allah. <laughs> smash Allah. That's right. Let me show you the hadith. Al-waladu lil firash wa lil ahir al hajar. Hey, natural sassy, have you done any study on uh, Islam? Um, I, I have a little bit lately. Um, I'm really uh, with Hannah. Do you know Hannah? Yeah. Okay, so I sister. watch her lives and and I, you know, go over the things. That Hannah, she goes Hannah, over. she don't know anything. Hannah, she give it, uh, give it, uh, you know, time to the handicap yes, worshiper. Yes, it's around. gonna take a while. So <laughs> yeah. it's only like a couple Look, months in, but I know Sahih enough to know it's wrong, yeah. very wrong, evil. Yeah. Okay, Sahih al Bukhari, sixty-seven fifty, right? Authentic hadith. Sahih al Bukhari, authentic book. 
narrated Abu Hurairah again. And the Prophet said, Smash Allah, smash Allah. <laughs> the boy, the boy is for the owner of the band. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Wow. Smash Allah. <laughs> See? Such a beautiful religion. So if anyone if anyone have a problem, it does, doesn't have a kid. He doesn't have a kid. He has a problem, right? He can spoke right. with his wife. Habibti. Go ahead. You can have boyfriend. Oh, Why not? Yeah. We need a yeah. boy. We need a child. We don't have a child. We need child. we can have a boyfriend. Which one you like it? My friend? Yeah. Call him. Call him. I will ask him to come, you know, visit our house to drink coffee and do something with him. No problem. I will leave you alone and go on the street. Five minutes, come back, finish your job, okay? Wow. What's the difference between Islam and pagan? What's wow. the difference was? Do you know Nothing. in pagan, in pagan religion, supposed to be the man, send his wife to sleep with other men for to be pregnant, to have a child. Zawajal istabda, we call it in English, in Arabic. If any man, if any man doesn't have kids, right? He has a problem, physical problem in his body. He can yes. send his wife to other man to make her pregnant and she come back. Now, okay, what well, I got a question. So what if um, the man was not a Muslim, the, the one she slept with was not a Muslim and he took this to court and, and all that. So because adultery, because adultery doesn't matter. Now Muslim, Jewish, get, Christian, and he wanted anything, right because not marriage. To, but if he wanted rights not to the child, would he yes, get rights? Sister, it's not marriage. If the marriage didn't give him to the Christian or Jew, the wife. Even but legally? But it's not marriage. It's okay. adultery. Yeah. Wow. It's adultery. Yep. But he cannot prove it adultery. He needs four witnesses. Yeah. And the four witnesses, they have to see private part inserted in a private part. And the, another thing, I forgot, I just memorized it now. He has to bring some bond and walk it, this bond beside balls, between balls. If this bond is stuck, which means adultery. Maybe he do massage for her. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he doing massage. Maybe he's a doctor. He has to bring a bond, you know the bond? Like mm -hmm. this, for example. He has to bring this. Mm -hmm. And between both, if one above the other, rope, yes, if one up uh, above the other sleeping, and he has a, already four witness, right? It's not enough. He has to bring this rope, and between both, if he's stuck somewhere, mm, it's adultery. Mm -hmm. If it didn't stuck, no, it's not adultery. Even if he saw him naked, beside, together, above, together. It's not adultery. Welcome to Islam. I'm just amazed every day. Religion. I like it. <laughs> it just, it just goes to show, yeah. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, brother. Take it just time. goes to, yeah, it just goes to show how when you get understanding of what we're dealing with, when we when we see the the darkness, that's why it's so good to see Ahmad, you know, exposing exposing it because people don't understand that, that the kingdom of darkness. It's not it's not what we think. Absolutely. Satan is so shifty. Oh, yeah. That's why I'm so grateful for lives like this, because it's it's educational. It's, you know, it's not only what we're supposed to do as far as, as Christians, but, uh, you know, it's education for everybody else, you know, that and they're trying to recruit constantly. It's, it's unreal. And, and some people might be bedoozled by that, you know. If they yep. don't know, so I've only been I've only been researching Looks like I've never really studied. Look, only a couple of, couple of weeks. Yeah, it's been yeah, a couple sorry, months, brother, but I it got takes a while. Look, Just like here. um, 
anybody, it's going to take a while, you know. Sister. Oh, my goodness. This all books, those boxes. Wow. All Arabic books. And I have read it double those. Those almost wow. 250. I read 700 books. <laughs> Complete from the beginning till the end. Just about so Islam. I, just... I am here. I am here only to expose the truth about Islam. Yeah. Not for to uh, make uh, friends, not for wasting time, not for anything because I can see the devils uh, Dawa money, Dawa money, yes. try to mislead our brother and sisters to worshiping this handicap, Allah's Nikbar. <laughs> For that, I came to expose this devil and to prove this is satanic religion. Yes, yeah. it is. And I, I, saw one, like, the truth. I saw them recruit one, one today and yes. it was, it broke my heart and she took her Shanada, that's what I call it, Shanono. Um, yes. and it, it just broke me. Shahata. Yeah, I call it Shahada. Sh Sh Shanada, Shanono. I call it Shahata. Do you know what Shahata <laughs> means? Look, sister, uh, yeah. it's very close between, between Shahada and Shahata. Shahada witness, Shahata sandal. Okay. In Arabic, we call Shahata, which means sandal. She took her sandals. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. See, the Arabic language is uh, very, very, you know, synthesis. Yes, it is. It is. Yes. I'd love to learn it, but man, whew, it's a lot. <laughs> it's hard, sister. It's hard. We need more if Christians you are not that born know as it. A Muslim, you, yeah. If you are not born in an Arab country, it's hard to learn. Right. Yeah. Well, it broke my heart, you know, either way, it, it just, it. There's Today, let me show you. you. I, I don't want to. I can't show you something. I can't show you here in public. But today, two, two, almost taking Shahata. They're coming back. I bring him back. I follow from fake account. I just advise the brother and sister, nobody listening to me. I have almost two months. I'm advising. But I will show you something small, small thing without name mm -hmm. uh, in TikTok. Mm hmm. Right? Right. I'll show you something on TikTok. I hope if I can, nobody can see his name. Let, let me just a second. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Look. Bro, this guy doesn't know anything about the Christianity, not even about Islam. He blocked all my accounts and he answering. Okay, thank. What's your YouTube? And he went to my YouTube and I told him, look here, you can see my YouTube channel. And I advised him another one also. Let me show you the another one. Two, almost taking Shahata. Almost. God I bring him back. Him. So uh, look the other. Uh, first of all, he asking him, I don't want to show his name. Look here. Mm -hmm. He asking him question and I'm answering. He using another device. Look here. He said, wow. So true. I was already kicked off. After I answered, he asked him a question. So here I answer and look what he told him. Bro, follow all Christian there and be careful about him. I'm trying. I'm trying to do it also from fake account. He said, I can't imagine. Wow. See, today almost two brothers taking Shahata. Wow. In live stream. For that, I'm advise you, brother and sister, please enter to those coward live stream without typing any comment. When you see any Christian almost mislead him yeah follow him and spoke with him in a private and send him or write for him my youtube channel 
yeah. for Hino Hello. and my account. Go to his account if you see if you see any video in his account, just mention to my account this account. Mention it yeah. to me. Okay. I open a dimension, not private. Just mention it to me for I follow him. For we try to bring him back before any Incredible. handicap worshiper mislead him. Absolutely. Yeah. That is my job. If you didn't see me, I'm opening live stream. I'm doing this job. I'm 24 hours on uh, uh, online from fake account. It is not haram. It's called saving them from wickedness. Yes. So I'm a 24 hours doing like that. I'm not because I have no time to open live stream. So your brother and sister, you have to help me and help your brother and sister too, not only me. Absolutely. I definitely will. Just uh, enter th to those live stream. Don't type any comment. Don't answer for didn't block you. Okay. Just watch. And if you see any Christian and uh, enter to this live stream, follow him and okay. go to his account. If you see any video, mention mm -hmm. my name. I will yeah, follow I was, him I was just scrolling through. It was, um, it was soldier soldier for islam i do believe and and she was already taking it when i when i stopped so you know but yes from here send I send me his account will. send me his account on a private system okay i will demolish him in the name of jesus christ okay just send me his account okay i sure will zaman saab come on we have a uh, Muslim brother. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Looking for donation. We are here for topic. We are here for exposing the truth. She didn't understand. Uh, she is a minor. This is a man saab, entered. Is a minor looking for donation, gift. Not looking for the truth. Not anything. Oh, okay. You send request again. Okay. So that is all, guys. I made it. I asked uh, brother and sister two months ago, and I made it a group on Telegram, for we share the live, for we share the live stream, any live stream trying to mislead any brother and sister, and for we helping our brother and sister. But the group doesn't work. Okay. Okay. It doesn't work. For that. I don't want to give up. I never give up, but yeah. I ask all brother and sister. If you can't open live stream, if you can't do nothing, you can do big, big job in this life. Try to protect your brother and sister. Absolutely. Just you, you can, you can, you, you, you can lose nothing, nothing. Just watch the live stream. However, a Christian enter to the live stream and a guest. Follow him and go to his account, mention my name. That's all. Or yeah. if he doesn't have uh, videos in his account, follow him. He will follow you and spoke with him in a private and tell him to follow me and follow my YouTube channel. That's all. I made almost a 500 topic on my YouTube channel. Okay. So if anyone visit my YouTube channel, if he is a Muslim, he will shock. How about if he's a new when I enter to his Islam? Right. right? Okay. He will curse Allah and run away. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. God bless you, brother and sister. And yes, we are all body of Christ. Yes. God bless yes, you yes. too. We are all one in a Christ. One yes, body. We have to. Yes. We have to try to save our brother and sister from the hellfire. Amen. Yes. Smash Amen. Allah. Thank you, Lord. Smash, smash Allah. Allah. <laughs> yes, smash Allah. With, with the Holy Ghost fire. Amen. So, uh, yes, that is. He needs a real name, by the way. It's Satan. That's what it is. What? Is that, Allah is that is... Satan? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's another good YouTube channel um, called Seeking Truth. It's really good. Seeking Truth? Yeah, look it up. Um, okay. Yeah, really good. Yeah, really good YouTube channel. Okay. Yeah. Just like really helping people understand the 
the the deception in unfortunately people don't because you know how the bible says that we're we're spiritually blind i think it's second corinthians 4 4 yes. where like satan yeah satan the like this is deceiving the world because we don't have the light of the word and jesus is the word and holy spirit gives us that illumination without holy spirit like everybody's in deep like darkness it's really hard to comprehend and it's sad because it breaks my heart as well as as uh seeing people not knowing what's going on around them not just physically but spiritually because it's all spiritual we're just stuck we're just stuck here in a physical plane in an avatar body but we're all spiritual beings wondering what's going on you know at the same time both so it's um it's a spiritual yeah it's a spiritual war for the for the mind like once you come out of the con like when i when i had my encounter with uh jesus in my room nine years ago like my conscience like completely shifted into the spiritual realm instantly um and that's how I, I was illuminated with the spiritual realm like holy spirit just like flicked the switch and that illumination became okay now i understand that i'm, I'm just an avatar body and holy spirit and my spirit man became like alive and that's when everything changed my eyes changed everything changed i started seeing stuff that i've never seen before same, and same um happened with me that's crazy and you yeah, know yeah. i never hear i never ever hear anybody in islam say they feel they physically feel allah you know and it's, it's no there's nothing it's zero it's, it's that's like, no evidence you know nothing just, spiritually in islam system. it's all very very strict and nothing. rules and this and that i never heard well, i don't change there's no change you know we feel him we know he's there and i've never yeah. heard anything like that so because there is nothing because satan's a liar all right he's a fraud absolutely but he, he's a spiritual he's a spiritual being and we're fighting him but it's it's the it's the lies and deception that we we see we see the, the truth because the lord's allowed us to see this in the world before we didn't see this stuff we didn't understand but now with the holy spirit he's illuminated the darkness like it's amazing what jesus does for us um before i was born again like i was in darkness i was in sin i didn't i didn't understand these things no but I it's either. yeah this is why we have that compassion and uh, and uh, Ahmed who has knowledge and understanding revealing the, the darkness and exposing it. This is why we're called to expose darkness. We have to expose it because if Jesus if Jesus battled battled in the spiritual realm but when he was physically on earth, imagine that we have now Holy Spirit and we're, and Christians that don't have the Holy Spirit, they can't battle the enemy. They can't expose Satan because they don't have that power. They're just It's just knowledge and religion and it, it destroys people. It, look at the, the world in religion. It doesn't doesn't resolve nothing. It's yeah. just drama. It doesn't. And and the person that I saw on the live, it, it was a female and, and a, she was, she said she was a Christian, you know, before. And it, I'm thinking, you know, a sister in Christ turning your back on Jesus and what, what happened so, so bad that hurt her in Christianity or whatever it was, or were they so good at deception? And my heart just crumbled, you know, and. Well, I, I can, I can I always, answer, I can always answer that um i can always answer that question because a lot of people like generally we have free will and in you know, the lord says like you have to abide in him at john 4 john 15 and 16 we have to abide in him he the holy like jesus has given us power but if you don't abide in christ you can fall away it's a it's a it's a covenant like absolutely I, I know, yeah i never understood these things but if you if anybody doesn't understand like um john 15 and 16 are very deep deep scriptures and if you understand you know seeking god for those answers he will he will reveal that once you're in him and you stay in him like mm -hmm. i believe with the holy spirit and you and he and the holy spirit is the counselor so if you lack knowledge he'll give it if you ask um and dil right. diligently seek him and he'll do it I've, right. I've been doing this my whole life um you know i was deceived in the beginning so i didn't know the word of god and i had to, i had to come out of this cult that i was in mm -hmm. very very big cult in america um dangerous cult and i didn't i didn't have the word of god in me so it took me like four years to really get um, to that place where I started understanding the word and Holy Spirit, illuminating my eyes to receive the Bible, like receive the truth. Because, you know, just because I was born again, doesn't mean nothing. You need to abide in his word. That's why if you Absolutely. don't have the truth in you, yeah, yeah like anybody can be deceived. It is a relationship and it is an absolute relationship. I don't, I do go to a church, you know, but I, I always tell everybody I have a personal relationship with Jesus and really that's, that's what it is. Um, I go to church, I take my kids to church and I expose them to Jesus and things like that, but I don't really you know, subscribe to a specific religion. I, I have a personal relationship with Jesus, you know? Um, yeah. So, well, that's what he, he's, 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 he
like, pro, you know, um, Baptist or, or whatever, you know, I do go to a Baptist church, but not necessarily, you know, just strictly Baptist. I just, I have a relationship with Jesus and I go by strictly the word. So. Yeah, because when you call someone a name, when you call someone a title or a name, it's it doesn't mean nothing, really. Correct. It's just a name. When you Correct. say when you say you follow, when you say you're a believer uh, or a follower of Christ because you do what he says, that's right. the difference. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. I mean, uh, God bless you.